This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Thursday, January 12th, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout and review the levels for the past three days in the U.S. and Europe. Now for the forecast. In Canada, heavy rain is expected through Environment Canada for Sudbury through Halifax for the next 48 hours or longer. Independent Geiger readings in eastern Ontario are showing intermittent high readings associated with this storm system. Please cover up well and remove all wet outerwear before entering your residence. In the U.S., light rain is possible through most of Alaska with an approaching system to Hawaii in the next three days. Coastal regions of the Pacific Northwest are expecting light rain for the next two days or longer. The heaviest rain is now occurring in the upper Midwest and through New England. Water vapor analysis shows central Florida to be under alert for possible fallout conditions without precipitation. Please limit all outdoor activities in these areas. In Europe, rain and snow is forecasted for the upper portions of Europe over the next two days with a break for Ireland and the UK. The following cities reported hazmat level or higher from the EPA in the past three days. Spokane, 310. Yuma, 500. Phoenix, 330. Bakersfield, 670. Idaho Falls, 380. San Diego, 370. Tallahassee, 340. Bismarck, 500. Albuquerque, 330. Reno, 540. Pierre, 400. Amarillo, 360. And borderline readings of 290 in Charleston, West Virginia. In Europe, Yurdup analysis shows persistent detection of cesium-134 and 137 in Slovenia. Other data for iodine-131 and other radionuclides is not available at this time. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for links to the EPA graphs and Yurdup. With a high number of cities reporting fallout in the U.S. and continued uncertainty about the status of the Fukushima plant, full mitigation is advised for anyone who has contact with the jet stream coming over from Japan. Please remember, radiation and related illness is in direct proportion to the amount of exposure that a person receives. Children are far more susceptible to this exposure. Pace yourself, as we will be living with this intermittent exposure for a very long time. This forecast has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.